Let her be born. Let her be born and handle the water. I love you. Outside Chicago. I'm outside Detroit. I am outside Houston. I am outside Baltimore. I'm outside San Francisco. I'm outside Manhattan. I'm outside St. Louis. And this is for colored girls who have considered suicide, but moved to the ends of their own rainbows. Come on, girl, come on, come on. Mama's Hayward and a Pooh Bear, all in the children's room. Only Pie 
Valley of Girls and Magic Rabbits and Big City White Boys. I knew I wasn't supposed to, but I ran into the adult reading room and came across Tucson, my first black man. I never counted George Washington Carver because, well, I didn't like peanuts. Still, Tucson was a black man, a Negro like my mama would say, who refused to be a slave. And he spoke French. And he'd allow no white man to tell him nothing. Not Napoleon, not Maximilian, not Rubensphere. Tucson literature was the beginning of reality for me. In the summer contest of whose color child could read 15 books in three weeks, I won and raved about Tucson Louverture at the afternoon ceremony. Was disqualified because Tucson belonged in the adult reading room. And I cried and carried dead Tucson home in a book. He was dead, but living to me. Because Tucson now, they held the citadel against the French with the spirits of all dead Africans out of the ground. Tucson led their army of zombies, walking, cannonballs, shooting spirits, freak to free Haiti, and they wasn't slaves no more. <laughs> Tucson Louboutin became my secret lover at the age of eight. I entertained him in my bedroom, underneath the covers with a flashlight. Way into the night, we discussed strategies on how to keep the white girl off my hopscotch game, and etc. Tucson was even there with me the night I decided to run away from my integrated home, integrated school, and integrated streets. 1955 was not a good year for little black girls.